Joe Biden honors the massacre victims in California. In honor of the 18 victims of the two California mass shootings, President Joe Biden declared that we have to be there for the communities that have been irreparably damaged by gun violence. At a Lunar New Year reception at the White House, Obama stated, Our prayers are with the people of Monterey Park and Half Moon Bay, and after yet another spree of gun violence in America. Late on Saturday, 11 individuals died at a ballroom dance club in Southern California, and seven more perished on Monday at two mushroom farms in the state's northern region. The same shooter visited a second dance club a few miles from the scene of the tragedy in Monterey Park, where 26-year-old Brandon Tse was, brandishing his firearm, according to Biden. Tse took the shooter's weapon, and he ran away. He lauded Tse's bravery and referred to him as a true hero. Biden asked the predominantly Asian-American audience to consider what may have occurred had Tse fled on his own. Brandon said he felt he was going to die, but then he thought about the people inside, Biden said. The president continued, I think sometimes people overlook amazing acts of heroism. You consider people as a semi-automatic handgun is pointed at you. Very, really profoundly meaningful, that. The shootings, which took place during festivities of the Lunar New Year, one of the most significant Asian festivals, terrified Asian American communities, which were already struggling with an uptick in violence against them, part of which was brought on by false information about the coronavirus. Authorities said that late on Saturday, who can tran open fire on a crowd of dancers at the Star Ballroom Dance Studio in Monterey Park, most of whom were elderly. There were nine other injuries. Tran, 72, was later discovered to have committed suicide by shooting himself. Chun Li Zhao, a 66-year-old farm worker, shot and killed seven current and former co-workers at two mushroom farms in Half Moon Bay on Monday a few days later. Prior to the shootings, the White House had scheduled its Lunar New Year party. In reference to the trauma that was caused and the requirement for care, Biden remarked that both populations will be affected by what they saw and what they lost for the rest of their lives. We must support them there as a nation. We must accompany them there. We are powerless to resist. In order to observe a moment of silence in memory of the victims, he led the group. As a mark of respect for the victims of Monterey Park, Biden had directed that American flags at federal buildings be flown at half-staff. On Thursday, he claimed to have spoken with California Governor Gavin Newsom. Additionally, he dispatched state-born Vice President Kamala Harris to Monterey Park on Wednesday to express the nation's sorrow. Just two days prior to the shooting at the dancing school, on January 19, Biden visited California to assess flood damage caused by days of intense rain along the state's central coast. This week, he had a conversation with Tse. In a brief conversational video posted by the White House on Twitter on Thursday, Biden told Tse, Thank you for taking such amazing action in the face of peril. You may not be aware of all that you have done for so many people who will never even meet you. Tse said that he was still taking everything in. Tse told the president, For you to call, that's just very soothing to me. The first anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine may fall during U.S. President Joe Biden's travel to Europe next month, according to three administration officials and a source familiar with the talks, who spoke to NBC News. Ukraine was invaded by Russia on February 24, 2022, and the fighting there has now lasted 12 months. Poland is one of the potential places, according to two of the sources. According to the reports, the Biden administration is preparing how Biden will commemorate the turning point in the Ukraine war. They claimed that the objective was for him to take advantage of the occasion to highlight Ukraine's fortitude in the face of Russia's ruthless military operation and to reaffirm U.S. support for the Ukrainian people as the conflict moves into a new stage. Three U.S. officials informed NBC News that a second military aid package for Ukraine is also being explored in conjunction with the anniversary. According to administration officials and the individual with knowledge of the discussions, no decisions have been taken in regards to the president's travel plans. 
We don't currently have any travel arrangements for the anniversary, a National Security Council official said in a statement in response to a question about a potential presidential trip to Europe next month around the anniversary of the Ukraine war. Planning for the anniversary is ongoing, and of course we are investigating a range of alternatives that the United States may do to support Ukraine, but nothing is finalized or decided upon yet, an administration official said. In order to demonstrate that the U.S. will remain together with Ukraine and America's friends against Russia, Biden visited Brussels and Poland in March, only weeks after Russia invaded Ukraine last year. Next month, Biden will travel to Europe where he will be able to personally see the developments in Eastern Europe and meet with EU leaders to fortify the U.S.-European partnership. The war in Ukraine will be the main topic of discussion among world leaders at the Munich Security Conference, which will also likely include U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris, according to CNN. The United States will send 31 Abrams tanks to Ukraine, Biden declares. Almost a year after Moscow's invasion, Biden has announced that the U.S. will send 31 cutting-edge Abrams combat tanks to Ukraine to support its troops in driving back Russian forces. Following discussions on supporting Ukraine with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, French President Emmanuel Macron, and British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, President Biden made his declaration on Wednesday. Today, I'm announcing that the US will send 31 Abrams tanks to the Ukraine, which is the equivalent of one battalion of Ukrainian soldiers. This action has been recommended by Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin because it will improve Ukraine's ability to defend its territory and accomplish its strategic goals, Biden added.